What's happening hardscapers today? We're screening a patio. Let's get into this. All right, this is a very basic 18 by 16 patio here. And essentially we've got the base all done. We've got our woven geotextile underneath our base. And then in between the lifts of our base, we've actually got some geogrid, which you could, there it is. In between the lifts coming up here, we've got a layer of biaxial geogrid. So now that we've compacted, we've made sure things are within a three eighths of an inch over 10 feet. So that's our tolerance in our base. We do have a little bit of a low spot in there that will kind of top up and just check everything over that 10 foot span. Make sure it's plus or minus three eighths of an inch. And then we can go ahead and start screeding. Now for this, we use a traditional base so we could use HPB or quarter inch chip on top of this to screed for our bedding layer and then lay our slabs. But actually, because we're gonna be laying these tight, I like to use concrete sand. So we're going concrete sand for this patio for the screed bedding layer. So we're gonna start to work in our corner, which sets our elevation. This is the highest point of the existing grade. So the, where the grass comes, this is the highest point. So we're gonna work off this point. We also want to be nice in line with this concrete pad. So this is where we'll set our first screed bar and then we'll work our way across as well as down with them. So you'll see us doing that. So I'm using my high precision altimeter to be able to double check how our elevation is throughout this pad. You can use string lines to be able to do this and then measure down from. Essentially, I just wanna make sure that I've got a zero point, which is our corner here, and then it will be two inches up will be top of patio. Our slabs are one inch, and then our screed layer is one inch, so two inches to meet our top of grass here. And then we are gonna do an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch per foot slope to that end, as well as to the back and the back. So I know that if I take this over here, and this is 16 feet at a quarter of an inch per foot slope, I would be somewhere around four inches down. I'm a little bit high here, but just around four inches there. So that's pretty good. I can do the same thing down here at this end. So this is 18 feet. So this is more like four and a half inches and I'm pretty good within that range. And then finally, I can come down here as well and know that we should be around that five inches because this is a little bit of a longer, this isn't 18 inches, this is actually the diagonal point. So we're around five and a half inches and we're right around that area. So with that, I know that our corners are good. They're following the right slope. I can start with my first screed bar. A few things that are helpful when you are screeding. Screed pipes, these are just three quarter inch inside diameter gas steel pipes. A line level with some string line and some spikes. A mallet is nice to have a level and even a long board to be able to screed from. And then of course your bedding material. Instead of doing this with the high precision altimeter, or a rotary laser. I'm gonna do this with string lines just to show you what we're doing here. So I set my grade pin with the string line at the elevation of my final patio. So with the slabs laid as well as with the concrete sand screeded. And I've got a line level on that. And then the final grade pin. So this is actually completely level. So that's the most important one because that's got to set my final elevation of the patio. This is not final elevation of the patio. This has been adjusted so that my line level is nice and level. Now I can calculate from grade pin to grade pin what that length is, and that is actually 18 feet. Then I can do a quick calculation of my slope, which is a quarter of an inch per foot. 18 feet means we have 18 quarters and that equals four and a half inches. So I will now measure down from this point, not our set elevation, but our final grade pin, four and a half inches and move that string line down from that point. So I'll take my measuring tape and I can mark that and I can move that down. So 
So there we are. That is final grade of patio. So now when I'm screeding, I can follow that as I see fit, measuring down from the string line to my screed bar, one inch, and just screed from there. Now with my slope established with top of string line, which represents my slabs laid, I can measure down from that, knowing that the slabs are one inch along my screed pipe, just to make sure I'm at the right height. Once I've got that, I can then set my second screed pipe, which will be here. So with that string line going off the same string line, I, ha I know that this is 16 feet, so at a quarter inch per foot, we're down four inches from that point down to that point. So that string line is set, so I can essentially get this screed bar leveled and move across here now and start to screed. Now with this being done, you may want to factor in also the compression of the sand with the consolidation. You're looking at about a quarter of an inch per inch. So you may want to go actually, if you're just doing an inch of screeding, an inch and a quarter to give you that final amount, depending on your final height of where you're getting to. Now with this screed bar, I'm able to measure down from the string line that one inch, but from this one, I'm not. I could set another pin in that corner and start to do a diagonal to this one to set my grades totally. What I'm gonna do is actually, I measure down from this string line, which is set one inch to my screed bar. So I know that this along here is good. I just don't know that this one to this one is good. So what I'll do is I'll take a look at my bubble. And since I know that this is good in terms of our grade, I'm gonna take this level and put it on the back part here to match that same bubble offset. And that's gonna allow me to then screed down here and match that same grade across. So this area is good. I'm gonna start bringing in my concrete sand, fill this in, screed back, and then start to move across here. Okay, I got up until this point, and this is where I need to start using more screed pipes to be able to set them and to continue this grade all the way to the back. So I'm gonna continue doing exactly what I'm doing. As you can see, as I scrape back, there's some areas that I need to kind of top up. So I'll throw some of the bedding layer back into it, continue scraping back. And this is just what we're gonna do for the rest of the time. Just like that, we've got a nice, smooth, screeded surface, minus a little bit that we need, just about a bag more to finish off. Plus, when we are laying, we are going to be filling in the screed pipe holes where the divots where they were as we lay. But other than that, we're ready to start laying. You can see that we started from this point but as we got closer to the end, we went over to that side because this is our access route in from the driveway where our materials are. So we didn't want to cut this off 
and have this screeded and then have it to wheelbarrow through our screed to get to that corner. So even though that was our starting point, we ended up over there and then came this way with our screeding. Hey, I hope this video has helped you in some way. If it has helped you, please give it a like. That really helps me with this. If you want to learn more about hardscaping, we do have courses available. Link is in the description below. It's the members only platform for how to hardscape. Leave a comment of any questions that you may have and subscribe for more hardscaping content like this. Thank you so much for watching.